So I'm gonna say, just throw the number out there, and I'm gonna say 1,200. 12. For all that. For all that. Okay. Thrifting ain't easy. I'm feeling creepy. Comping diapers on my eBay app. What's up, everyone? I felt like it was kind of important to to give you somewhat of a disclaimer and somewhat of an explanation about what you're getting ready to see. Basically what happened is I responded to a Facebook marketplace ad where a dude had a storage unit just filled to the brim and he was looking to sell stuff. Of course I'm gonna respond to that kind of ad. What it ended up being was when his father died a couple years ago, he basically packed up the entire house and put it into a storage unit. And now rather than working a regular job, he figured it was his payday to start selling some of this stuff off. I think what's important to remember is the fact that I wasn't invited to come look through the unit. I asked if I could basically by responding to the ad. So he wasn't necessarily inviting resellers in, but we all know that we're the type of people that are going to respond to an ad like that. Now, the thing is I've made enough of these picking style videos in uh, different types of situations that I know that there's parts about this video that are going to annoy people that are going to maybe make people mad that will at the very least elicit some pretty strong feelings one way or the other. And I was going to try to be a little clever with the editing to make it come off a little differently. But when it comes down to it, I think people come to the channel to get kind of an honest portrayal of the actual situation that I was in. So I'm just going to kind of edit it for time and not for content, basically. When it was all said and done, we ended up making a pretty substantial deal, spent quite a bit of money in there, and I will show you all the stuff I got a, a little bit closer at the end of the video. But basically, I just wanted to kind of break in here and let you know that I know what you're going to say before you even say it. But go ahead and say it anyway, because that's what we do here. Let's go. Perfect. Cool. Well, it seems like you got a good mind. Okay. <laughs> I'm, uh, actually, this is part of pretty much my own business. I've got three different businesses going. Pretty much, I got. I'm a, I've been in management since I was 18. Right. And I started getting into some serious management. Shit. And then, you know, big business stuff. I was uh, assistant at CVS, and they fired me up in like two weeks. I was. And uh, I just couldn't handle upper management people anymore, man. I was like, I, I know you. what I'm doing. And they <laughs> kept moving me so quick everywhere I went. So I was like, I'm just going to start my own stuff. I, but so far, I've cleared about three Gs in the last two weeks. Oh, nice. I mean, better than any CBS paycheck I ever got. <laughs> so I'm going to help you go. I'm going to start rolling because this is literally the only people like that case of record albums, he cracked it, we cracked it. That had been sealed at, in 1996. Oh, wow. So this unit, for the background of it, this is my life, my family, my everything, because they've all passed away. Right. So it's, it, but my dad made a lot of money. He was a, he was a, a, a computer software sales, hardware sales. Right. He had Indiana schools, government, Indiana police department accounts, uh, Perry Meridian schools, you know, Hamilton Southeastern, all the big boys. Right. So he banked, so he's got beyond belief. So it's whatever you want to go for. Uh, just like I said, there's thousands upon thousands of dollars. Of just, like I found, uh, for instance, the last people that were here, um, she was like, uh, check this book out. Because they, they do kind of picks like you do. Right. And, you know, everybody's been real honest and cool with me because, I you know, if it is what it is, then cool. Right. So I check it out. I start researching it. And it's a 1957 first edition Dr. Seuss Cat in the Hat. Oh, wow. And, like, I got pictures of it in pretty good condition. Yeah. So I researched the prices. Dude, there was one. There's only 195 of them made. And there's 200 of them made that have a signature. Mm-hmm. And the ones that were all on sale, there was one on eBay that was at bids at were already over eight fifty. There was one at a German store in Germany that was three hundred and fifty, and then all the rest of them were in the thousands. Oh wow! And there was two different types, and I have one of them. So it's like I've got that book that's worth at least at least thirty five hundred straight, if yeah. not. They were upwards of fourteen thousand. Jeez. And for <laughs> I mean, you know, excuse my French, oh, no, that's but, uh, you know, but so that's the thing is like, I don't know the depths of the depths of some of this that goes right. back to 
I mean, like that bed frame goes back. Yeah, it's not worth it. Cast iron, it's probably worth metal. But it goes back to, I think, 1917. It was my great grandparents' first bed when they were married. Right. So they just go back. There's there's World War One stuff. There's boxes. So you, you, I'll dig with you, obviously, because I, I kind of know where everything's at. Mm -hmm. But I'm still at the same time, like, I find a $5,000 book. Whoa. Okay. Right, yeah. So when people say, how much you want for the locker? And I'm saying $25,000, they are going, huh? And then I say, well, I found this book. And then now people are like, wait. <laughs> right. And I'm like, look, I'm not lying about I still got the nine-foot pool table back there. I mean, that's a $2,900 brand new pool table. Right. All the cues. I got two different ball styles, maybe three sets. I mean, that's all there. There's a full, uh, you just start going, go at it, my man. Okay. And you just ask me questions. And I'll throw prices. We can negotiate whatever, whatever okay. you want to roll with. But uh, yeah, man, so just you go right ahead and okay. do your business and. Cool, sounds good. You like, but it's just so This is just random in a box, mm -hmm. you know, but like, I mean, it's good stuff, right. you know, so. It's just what you do with. Oh, yeah, I feel you. But uh, so, in an instance, just so I can kind of try to help you a little, because uh -huh. I want to give you, since you're here and I have more people, I try to treat it as you're my client for this time. So I want you to have, I don't want a bunch of people in here. Right. Everything, that's too much going on. You know, I want to have one-on-ones direct, you know? Sure. So what is mainly what your like top five things you're looking for? I like smaller vintage stuff. Uh, Perfect. Okay. Records are good. So I mean, okay. yeah, that You go right cool. ahead and start up on those two then. Cool. Okay. And vintage, anything Coke, Budweiser, Budweiser Steins, Anheuser-Busch, are you good into those at all? I mean, not really Steins, but not I mean Steins. like, you know, like advertising, you know, you know, things like that. Um, I do like a lot of shipping, so like, I don't, okay. you know, like a bed frame I wouldn't want, obviously. No, right. So you're looking, so like, okay, so like vintage Christmas ornaments even. Sometimes, I yeah. I have Wizard of Oz stuff. I have Coke stuff. I have Budweiser stuff. All that stuff would be... Sometimes that's pretty good for me, What yeah. about, like, little uh, cars, like Budweiser sure. cars, mm -hmm. Dale Earnhardt, Dale Earnhardt Jr., yeah. full models? Like, I have, like, 15 of them at home. And okay. I have more in here. I'll start digging with okay. you. So there's one. What's kind of... That's enough for me. I just got... Okay. There's there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just start growing with you because... I gotta start clearing out of this because I'm still, you know, looking at um, $130 a month in this. Oh, yeah. I just need to get out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, now another thing uh -huh. on vintage wise, what about vintage toys? Yes. This guy. You ever seen the prices for these? Yeah, I actually bought a couple of those recently. Really? How yeah. much you pay? Uh, I, you don't want to know. I got a really good deal. It was just people trying to get rid of stuff. Well, I'm just a person trying to get rid of stuff. Yeah. And if you ever bought some of these, did they sell pretty good? Yeah. I figured, because check this one out. I look at the prices and they're pretty solid. I could probably sell this myself. Maybe not. But I mean, it's all there. Oh, yeah. It's the whole shebang. I only used this as a kid, like maybe I loved it, but mm -hmm. we didn't, it was so much to put together, so we just did other I, It's all there. I mean, all the way down to the... A lot of times the money's in the cars too, so it's cool that you actually have the cars with it. The originals. But I got all the pieces. I mean, I still even got bag. <laughs> okay, I might just sell this myself, unless you got an offer. Uh, I'll probably hold off on that. I mean, that's... That's something I may yeah. just want to go with, like, the book thing, sell myself. Right, exactly. This could very... Thank you. <laughs> this could very possibly then be the first time of many, because I have also boxes at home that mm -hmm. have my very expensive stuff, and that's very antique as well. I mean, we can go there after this, and I can pull out the boxes, because I know where those are at. Yeah. And I can... We can just do it right out the truck. I'll have the heat on, you can sit in the truck and go... I'll go so whatever works for you. Man. Okay. I mean, cause yeah. I got all day, and literally, I can tell everybody else, screw it. I'll just deal with you today, and fuck it. Okay. You know, I got time for days. But okay. Yeah. I know what you're going for then. Right on. Cool. But I got that thing called Worth Point. Have you heard of that? Oh, yeah. I just now picked up. That's that chick that found that book. She found it on that. Right. 
and then she was honest with me. I said, well, if, if it turns out very good, which it looks like it's going to, I said, I'm going to make sure you guys are okay. I do have to meet with them yeah. today, but they're just, they were literally the block down the street. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna, it's too bad, man. I've got so many people wanting that freaking dollhouse. It's handmade. It's one of a kind. It's all oh, yeah. painted, hand done. One piece. My mom did. <laughs> she was a porcelain doll artist. Oh, really? So she was, that's her yeah. artist things and stuff like that. Um, no, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm getting a lot. I've been offering, I've gotten a lot of hits, and i got to keep watching my phone. But um, so obviously stuff like that, you're not interested in, you know, a doll house. Yeah, I mean, I do have an antique booth, but it's... I'll just hand this box over to you. There's a lot of good glassware, bottles, vintage. There's a... Uh, see like this thing this thing goes back to uh, you don't have to do all the work because other people came right. here i was like you just go ahead because it was still pretty stacked but yeah you can set out whatever you're thinking about okay. whatever you know whatever you don't know blah, blah, blah. I'll just start moving <laughs> light it's the picture it's the last two of the uh, little guys that were alive and it was signed right there oh wow it's all legit it's so light i didn't know if you wanted something like that because it's very easy to ship the right that's a good piece just, you can't get that anymore unless you find it Right. So, like on the two boxes of records, what would you be thinking? On something like that. On all of them? Yeah. Just without cherry picking or anything. Well, there, I know there's two I got to grab that are in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say off the number. Okay, let me do a quick. Okay. Do, I'm not gonna even look at them, and then we'll negotiate. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of good and that's the one thing people keep going through it. So right now, like this is a this is one of these things, you know, that you're just like and I guess them at about 120 albums there. Some are still in original packaging. Last ones I sold were five dollars an album. Now you resale. So on a if I didn't touch it right now. Mm -hmm. What would you offer? Knowing, say, say, just on the straight up, what you look through, knowing there's 120 albums, give or take. What would you offer for the whole lot of albums? Don't touch in anything. And I won't touch a dime. Because there's two that I want to get in there that I know of, mm -hmm. but I, if if the price is right, I won't even look at it. That's where I'll start. I mean, I probably did two. Two hundred. Mm -hmm. About four. I want a six, you want a two, me in the middle of four. Can I look around some more first? Sure. And then we'll... yep. I'll do 350 on it right now for all of them. I don't touch. I touch and I get the stuff that I want. I'll drop it to 300 if I get the stuff that I want and I look okay. through it. But I'm not taking a lot and I'll drop it to 300 at that as a point right now. If I touch it, if I don't touch it, I'll just let it go right now for three fifty. All right, let me just think about it for a second. Cool. There, nice. there, just to throw that in there for you, okay? I won't look through them anymore either. Cool. We'll mm -hmm. just put these on the side. Okay. And I'll put those as reserve right now. Live reserve. <laughs> <laughs> nice and easy. There we go. Cool. All right. Now with that one. Yeah, and you're more than welcome. Just come right in okay. and have a ball. Cool. I mean, that's what I tell everybody. Just do your thing. Here you go. See, like, this is I'm talking about these toys. I've got, like, 40 of these signed, and they're all worth money. Like, they're all stamped. They're yeah. all from the collections. Here we go. You probably want to check. This is all code. Oh, okay. Like, little cool. toothpick dispensers. Little random over and you can take right on. Yeah, the football cards. I've kind of got a number for everything, but I have tons more. Okay.
or my dad bought a house and I was living in that house, you know, we paid for it, and I had the house stacks I needed to get out of the storage unit, so I filled my guest room with it, but then it was like, my house is a storage unit. I was like, all right, I gotta move, I gotta do something. <laughs> so then I did the whole redo, boom, let's just start fresh, and I just started saying, screw it, man. It's been sad, there's some of the stuff I've never even looked at in seven years. Right. So, Everything that I matched with mine compared to theirs uh -huh. the money and the colors in my book. There's no watermarks. I have no water damage, no browning of paper. I mean, the binding on the second half of that book was so tight, I couldn't take pictures because it wanted to keep close. In there. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, which is great. That's beautiful for me. But <laughs> yeah, I just want to... God. That's what's cool about this piece though. The innards are still Yeah, solid. that is cool. See, like, like that, man. That's just. It's yeah. just gonna go. <laughs> you look through them before I touch. Oh, the old okay. records? Just out of curiosity, like, you know, with all the records and everything, yeah. these things that say clothing, like, are there any old concert t-shirts or anything like that that you know of? Oh, yeah. Tons. Oh, yeah. I have tons of that stuff. We, yeah. my From the 70s and originals and Rush and hmm. Van Halen, Black Sabbath, all that. That was our that was our pudding, bread yeah. and butter, that and NFL. Right on. So, yeah, you go right ahead there. Yeah, you close, you 
Go right ahead, man. Okay. Yeah. Now that's my next purchase, probably today. What's up? What's that? No. Oh. It seems like you know what I'm going to say here. <laughs> this phone has one gig of RAM. <laughs> and trying to run 4G network on one gig of RAM with hundreds of emails coming in on right. your Facebook Messenger. And <laughs> this phone exploded all over my face yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I had a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. And that was fire until it literally caught fire in my bed and turned into a freaking like 17 of those boxes of sparklers all at once. Oh, yeah. Like that. I was like, oh my God, what am I? I'm going to light something on fire. Ah, I'm on fire. And I'm, <laughs> like, ah. and so I just threw it on the bathroom floor because that's the only thing. Jeez. It was burning my hands. I had to throw it on the carpet. And I was like, no, not the carpet. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, yeah. There we go. Well, that's kind of cool though, because everything you guys really got pretty much told you like a story of the movie. So yeah, that's... Got all that? Yeah, yeah, everything's going. Can you just send me copies of that? Now that it pops their name back, at, is that good to do because it will notify them more than just saying somebody commented on your post or messaged you back? Uh, yeah, because it's a... within the message? Yeah, because it tags them. So they get like a notification that takes Plus. them directly. Yeah. Plus. So they get like double notification. I would think so, yeah. That's what I, okay, cool. So that's what I started doing, and for some reason I've noticed I think I got it all right here, but okay, I, well, that's cool. um, I can wait. Well, so we were at 350 on the records, not touched. Yes. And then I guess just this. Where are we at? Okay. The classic ones of my grandfather's albums. Is that just the only it's, book you have? It's it's just the one uh, Van Halen scrapbook thing. Van Halen scrapbook. Yeah. Same with. But I just want to make sure I see what yeah. it is. The thing right there. Okay. Because my dad did that one. That one, just, that's like a custom made thing, but that's also good paperwork. So that one, I'm just going to keep right here. I'm not going to keep that in the price total. Okay. okay. I'm just gonna throw a number out there and we can play, okay? Okay, is it for everything? Everything except the book. Okay. And that's without, because that's except the book. I'm just saying except the book. Okay, but it's with the records. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Let me out, touch it. I'm, all I'm gonna do is touch this book. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. This will be my number and then we can negotiate with this guy. Okay. For all that, with the 350 records, I know the price of that NFL experience thing. I bought, I know that that's never been really touched the kiss. You know, there's certain packagings, toys. Okay. Pricing wise, you are gonna do the pictures as well? They looked interesting, so I thought I'd, I thought I'd put them in the pile. Okay. You can see. So I'm gonna say, just throw the number out there, and I'm gonna say 1200. 12. For all that. For all that. Okay. Where are you seeing the most value? Just like with the signs and stuff and the NFL stuff right here? Records. Okay. Records. Well, yeah, the records, but. The records. I didn't even see the who thing. These two. This piece. These pieces. These pieces are unique. Mm -hmm. I've got another guy that would love that, but if you want it, I'll sell it to you first. He's the guy that bronze guy right. that was gonna come. They probably get that, but I'm not gonna say a word about it. So, I mean, these toys. Of this thing was 110 in the box. I found them 80, 70 to 80 selling retail 
just as that, just cleaned up. There's, there's everything's of value. Yeah. Though I'd say the least value for me mm -hmm. in the sense. I just don't know much about that guy. These cars, even though these are nice and solid, technically. Yeah, but that, that's, so that's where I'm kind of with those numbers at, on right. explanation. And that's, uh, that's a basic on those yeah. pictures wise. That's not even thinking individually on what I can do right. with the pictures. So that's where I'm like 12. All right, well, let me tell you what my favorite stuff is. Okay. Just, I didn't go through this stuff, but it, it just looks interesting to me. Mm -hmm. So my favorite stuff is, this mm -hmm. and what's in these bags mm -hmm. the rest of it i could kind of you know do without mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. so where would we be right here without any without this yeah yeah any yeah stuff? yeah man because the bags are the thing I'm yeah like, i have i have no clue what's is in there them. something because <laughs> i just know everything i've opened so far there's been just stuff that, you know, and yeah. I know how my dad is with collector shirts and jackets. There could be leather, there could be, oh man, see, I just don't, and I haven't looked through them. That's like, that. those are one of those, like the book thing, could be a diamond in the rough right. in those. That's where it's like my number, that's where I don't, because, you know, I know how he is, and obviously the value, there's value somewhere, anywhere. So, in that perspective, I'm never knowing and not even how, because there could be super act in there that I don't know about because we went to XLI we sure. did the whole thing and he bought every I mean I've got custom signed pictures from the artists and you can only get them at the Super Bowl like the value is mm -hmm. ridiculous on them I can't sell them because I just can't <laughs> they're in here unless somebody gives me the right number but it's got right. the right number not absurd anyway um needless to say the albums that set ooh yeah Oh, got a Zeppelin in there too. Oh. Yeah, some DVDs. Oh yeah, okay. That's those are the Dio's all oh. right. The complete history. I didn't mean to get that one. Oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't even know I had yeah. it, so that's cool. You don't want that though? Yeah, yeah, that was just stuck that's in there. Uh, that's cool because I didn't know you had the Zeppelin, so <laughs> that still keeps me. <laughs> uh, 800. 800. 800. That's, I mean, that's, because now with the little bit of a risk, mm -hmm. Definitely a reward. You're going to get 350 guaranteed. I know that. I know that. <laughs> now, I'm not touching it. That's why I'm, yeah. I'm 800. If I'm not touching it, 800. I'll drop it. I'll drop it. If I can go through those albums, I'll drop it to 700 cash right now. If I can go through. If not, I'll do 800 unless you've got something else you want to sweeten with it. 800 right now. Boom. It's yours. I don't touch. 700, I go through these albums and grab the few that I know that I wanted to grab. Um, or 800 out the door right now. My number was 700 cash. Would you split it at 750 and call it a day? Let's cool? Okay. We can do that. Cool. Thanks, man. Been pre All right, let's stuff, see. But... <laughs> All right, well, cool. Yeah, I'll let you do that thing. I'll clean this up here and then I'll pop in the truck and stick. Okay. By the gate. All right, everyone. So as you can see, probably not the most ideal picking situation, but I think it's pretty important to be able to kind of adapt and make the most of the situation that you're in at any given time because they're not always going to be ideal. At the end of the day, I'm pretty excited with the deal we made. So I'm going to quickly show you what we ended up with, and then I'm going to explain what I might have done a little bit differently. All right, so we got a ton of records, and I've already kind of gone through them and separated them. Um, when I first started looking through them, I saw enough good stuff in there that I was pretty comfortable putting like an average sales price of at least 10 bucks per record. I knew that there were plenty that wouldn't be worth hardly anything at all, but I saw quite a few that had some pretty substantial value. So there was over 100 records uh, at 10 bucks a piece. That'd be like 1000 bucks in sales value, and that was my pretty conservative estimate. And then when I got them home and got them separated, I was pretty happy with how it turned out. This is the good box, and this is the box that's pretty much going to the antique booth. This box here, I see a pretty conservative value of around $900. This box here, I kind of put the stuff that was worth like 10 bucks or less. Uh, so probably like, you know, maybe like a five to eight dollar average price. So in the booth, I think this is worth 
around two hundred dollars, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. So so that's all fine. But this box, there's some really good stuff in here, and I kind of have it separated into lots where applicable. But uh, this one right here is probably it's probably one of the best ones. This is a Metallica first pressing of Master of Puppets. This one we should do quite well on. And then we got some lots like this is an Ario Speedwagon lot, and then some that are just kind of worth like between ten and thirty bucks on their own, kind of mixed in here. U2 Tears for Fears. Living Color Vivid, that's a good one. Pretty sure that most of these are first pressings too. Rat, Triumph, Thin Lizzy, Peter Frampton and the Bee Gees, there's some Deep Purple, some Queensryche, The Police, Pink Floyd, there's a couple riots in there, a couple Beatles with Paul McCartney, and then a Black Sabbath lot, I kind of put Dio there, a couple Ozzy Osbourne records, Black Sabbath, Ozzy, Black Sabbath, Judas Priest lot right here. A bunch of rainbow records that's a that's a pretty good lot to have and there's quite a few of those then we got a van halen lot a lot of van halen records in here david lee roth sammy hagar kind of lotted those in there with them scorpions more scorpions scorpions then we got a sticks lot with tommy shaw sticks and then a bunch of rush records so there's a nice little rush lot in there uh we got a kiss lot kiss 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 robert plant lot striper lot so yeah, some pretty cool stuff in there. This is the bulk of the deal. This is what I'm pretty excited about. I'll probably put most of these on the website to start off with just because they're too cool and too and too vintage not to at least try. You know, leave them up there for like a week or something, see what happens before I move them somewhere else. But I'm pretty excited about this box of records here. And this is just the money that'll trickle in from the booth right here. Got no problem selling records in the booth, even for eight, 10, 12, 12 bucks a piece. So I will price all these accordingly. So then we come down here to the weird part of the deal. This is the part that I kind of gambled on. And if I had to do it again, I might not do it only because there is profit in this. Like basically we paid $350 for, for the records and basically $400 for everything else. And I didn't really know what I was buying, but I knew enough about the records to know that I had a little room to gamble with and maybe hit a home run or maybe completely strike out. And I'll tell you, it was not a strikeout. It's just the profit from, from the rest of it isn't as much based on the time I'll have to spend on this stuff, if that makes sense. But still, still, it's a pretty good deal. So there was like a bunch of flags and banners. There's probably like 30 of them or so. Basically, they're mostly like local sports and stuff like that. There's a bunch of cult stuff, some Notre Dame stuff, some Indy 500 stuff. And if you walk around my town enough on like hot summer days when garages are open, you see these kind of banners hanging in people's garages. So I know if I put most of these in the antique booth for between eight and 15 bucks a piece, they'll sell over time. So it's good because it'll put inventory in the booth, uh, maybe catch people's eye a little bit, get them to buy something else. It's just not quick hot sellers or anything. So it's fine. It's it's really fine. This was probably the best flag or banner right here. It's a 1970s Harley banner. Got this old spell out on the front with the with the orange background and the white patch. This is probably the most valuable flag or banner out of this whole lot. But honestly, it's a bunch of stuff that will sell in the booth over time. So then if we dive down in here a little bit, got a couple DVDs, like some old hard rock stuff, uh, Led Zeppelin, Dio, got a The Who box set right here. And then a Kiss box set. This is actually pretty valuable right here. That'll bring a nice little chunk back too. Maybe maybe between 50 and 75 bucks. So that's pretty cool. Then we got this old Mr. Creepy Magic kit right here. I think from the 90s. Yeah, 1995. Made by Pressman. That's kind of neat. He actually threw this in since I didn't buy the beer signs. Uh, he let me choose one, one beer sign. So I chose this one. Because I thought that one was pretty much the coolest in, in my opinion. And then the bag of clothes, no huge home run. See, that was that was kind of the gamble I made. That like maybe there'd be something amazing in there. It would have ended up being a killer deal, but it just ended up being an okay deal as far as as far as this extra stuff goes. There's an old Budweiser satin jacket. That's that's pretty cool right there. It says Bud King of Beers on it. Official product made in USA. It's a size XXL, but it's old, so it kind of fits like an XL. So that'll actually probably go on the website for a while. Because I like having this cool vintage stuff up there for a bit. And then an old Coats puffer jacket made by Turbo Sportswear, uh, probably from the 90s, I think. And then this was a pretty cool jacket too. It's uh, made by Apex One. It's a Super Bowl XXIX. So what is that, 29, Super Bowl 29, I think. Made in Hong Kong. And then it says ISI Charity Golf Classic on the front there. It's got a pretty decent sales history on it. Some cool 90s colors, but as winter's ending, this might be better to hold off until next year. We'll see. It's a size XL. And then the rest of this is just pretty much junk down there. So if I had it to do over again, 
I might not buy the extra stuff just because, like I said, the profit didn't escalate as much as the cost and the time that I will need to invest. But at the end of the day, it will put some inventory in the booth, draw people in a little bit more, and these records are going to pay for the whole thing anyway, so, so I'm pretty okay with it. But that's pretty much all I got for you this time, guys. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, love ya, bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know I'm buying this crap.